So looking at the curve, if you remember back from the empirical rule back in chapter three, we talked about if you go one standard deviation from the mean, both one below and one above, that you have 68% of the population, or in this case, the area covered. So here is 68% of the curve, just going one standard deviation to the left and to the right. But this holds for our other areas too, that if we go two standard deviations, left and right from the mean, we will end up with 95% of the population. So here you can see I've gone from the mean down by two standard deviations and up by two standard deviations, and hopefully you recognize that that gave me 95% of the area under the curve. And so lastly, we do the same thing for three standard deviations above and below the mean. We should end up with 99.7% of the area under the curve. So you can see it looks like 99.7% of the area is covered. We can't even see this tiny little area at the tip of both of the curves and even below the flat piece, because remember the flat piece isn't even touching. So there's a little bit of height, but we can't even see that. That represents the 0.3% of area. So now let's go ahead and actually graph a normal curve where we're given a mean and a standard deviation. And based on that, we should be able to graph the curve. So I always like to start by just drawing my bell-shaped curve. Not beautiful, but it's the best I can do. And do my number line across the bottom. Then I find where my center is, and I'll mark that with the mean mu. Although don't write that mu yet, because I'm actually going to be erasing that. That's just a visual for a starter. Because the thing I know is that I need to go three standard deviations to the right. So I wrote it as one, two, three standard deviations above and three standard deviations below. So minus sign to show I'm going below. But I need to indicate those with the numbers I'm assigned for this problem. So actually I'm going to erase all that. I know that the mean is five because I was given that. I need to go one standard deviation above and since sigma is given to us to be two, then you can see I'm going two up to get a seven for my one standard deviation above. Then I add another standard deviation or two standard deviations and two times two is four, four plus five is nine. And the same thing for three standard deviations where a standard deviation is two units, so I'm going six above the mean to get 11. And really, you could notice, I just kept adding two, right? Five plus seven, sorry, five plus two is seven, seven plus two is nine, nine plus two is 11. So that's how I'm gonna do it going the opposite direction. So when I go one standard deviation below, I jumped, sorry, um, I subtracted two to get a three. I subtract two again to get a positive one. And keep in mind, I'm gonna subtract two again and I end up getting a negative one, that's okay. So what's happening here is our normal curve, we're saying goes from negative one to 11, knowing that that's really 99.7% of our curve. And now I want you to work on a problem. Do the same thing for a mu, a mean of 20, and a sigma, a standard deviation of three. So I would suggest go ahead and pause the video, draw your curve, and then check to see if we have the same answer. So I'm assuming you drew your bell-shaped curve. You drew your tally mark or tick mark to show where your center mu is. You went one, two, three marks to the right and one, two, three marks to the left, where that third mark should be really close to where the curve pinches off. But again, since we're free forming this, it's as best as we can do. I start by copying my mean at the center marker. And now I'm gonna add three to get 23, add three again, and add three a final time. And do the same thing where now I'm gonna start subtracting three and going down below. So going to 20, subtract three, I get 17, subtract three for 14, and subtract three for 11. 
So for this different problem, the normal curve, not the standard normal, we'll talk about that later, but the normal curve is going to go from 11 to 29, that 99.7% of the population who have an average of 20 and a standard deviation of 3 will fit in a range of 11 to 29.